my name's Phil. Today we got an opportunity to be installing a warm zone electric floor heating system. We're going to be using a screamer. We'll explain what that is. That's in case you have any faults during the installation. We got our thermostat and our floor sensor. We're also going to be using our extra kits and uh, we'll explain how we do that with using a self-leveler. We'll be encapsulating the wire so there could be no damage possible to the floor heating system during the tile stage. Our first step as always is to take a damp sponge and just wipe down our floor substrate to make sure that there's no dust or any bond breaking materials left on it. Okay, since we're going to be using a self leveler, it's very important to use the primer. Okay, I like to actually just pour it full strength right onto the floor and then just use this mini roller to make sure that you spread it out completely. Make sure there's no puddles and we're going to allow this to completely dry. Alright, we're back now and uh, we've allowed our primer um, appropriate time to dry. Now it's as easy as peel and sticking our edge strips around the perimeter of the room. The strips will cut easily with just a standard utility knife and there is no waste. By using the strip up here against the tub, we're provided what's called a soft joint. We're allowing, we're allowing for any expansion that might happen of the self-leveler because of the floor heat, so it'll absorb it right within the strip itself. Okay, and this area right here is where our vanity will go. So we're able to actually put our strip right up where the toe kick will be. So we'll be able to run our wire right underneath the toe kick, so you'll definitely have nice warm toes. The use of the edge strip right here at the door threshold, it will be so that it will contain the self-leveler from uh, going out into the carpeted area. So this is perfect use for the edge strip kit. So this area right here by our floor register, we can actually just perimeter the register itself and then easily just cut it out after the self-leveler has dried. This way it will again contain the self-leveler from going into the floor heating register. Okay, we're going to be taking three resistance tests, one right now before the, the material is actually laid, one after the self-leveler and then the other one just after um, before the tile. Our electrician gave us two sticks of conduit coming down here. So the first one is for our cold lead, the second one will be for our floor sensor. Okay, Wormstone provides us with a tool called a screamer. Um, we wire it up to our cold lead. If you hear that sound, that's the time to stop. That means that the wire got compromised during the installation. We'll install this wire here, turn on the switch, no sound, that's good news. Okay, we were able to loose lay our material here and so we have to actually pick up um, that part here. So we actually were able to just cut through the mesh to expand these first couple loops of wire. Very important, don't forget the floor sensor. Because the mat is self-adhesive, self I just sliced the mat, put our sensor between one of the loops of the wire, and uh, then push it back down. Secured. Since we needed to free wire this area, a hot glue gun would be an easy tool to use to just secure the wire so it's tight to the floor below our self-leveler. Okay, we've mixed up our self-leveler now. Now it's time to just pour it. Stay back away from the strips and allow the material to flow right up to the edge strips.
Okay, we're back. It's the second day. Our self level has dried hard. Totally encapsulated our wire. Look at the transition here at the floor register. Nice and smooth. It'll be very easy to tile over. As we said, we can take a simple utility knife to cut out the excess over the heat register. And then we'll be setting that in. By using our self leveler and our edge strip kits, we've created a complete flat surface. No possible way to damage our floor or heating system with our trowels. With porcelain tile, it's very important to back butter your tile. So make sure that you fill in all the wall foam backing before you lay it into the comb. This Okay, um, we've got everything uh, tiled now and then we're having our electrician hook up the final hookups for our thermostat and then we'll be turning it on. You done? All right, we're all done here. I want to thank our friends at Warm Zone for providing the floor heating system. Um, also, Primo Tools is who makes that back butter buddy, which uh, we use for back butter in the tile. If you need to check that out, go to primo-tools.com for the information. And if you need any information whatsoever about the Ed Strip Kits, make sure that you contact me personally, phil at edstripkits.com. I'd love to answer any of your questions or feel any of your comments. Now it's time to just enjoy this floor. Thanks a lot for watching. <music>